All right, guys, so I have to be honest with you. I am super tired. So most of you guys have been following what's going on here at Weems Motor Co. All the craziness with the builds and the shows and and what's going on with Born Free and I really feel like I've just been burning the candle at both ends I guess is the way they say it um, but man some days you just uh, you have to take a break step away from where you're at and uh, do something that I like to call a mental health day and I think today it needs to be one of those days. I've been so, so busy with this Born Free build. Uh, I have these super high expectations I set for myself. Uh, and I want to make sure that you guys really, you know, when you see this bike done, that it really knocks your socks off because that's really what I want to do. Um, but, uh, you know, I have this timeline that I've set up for myself and I'm doing really good with that. Uh, I'm, I'm making my timeline so far. We're at the point in the build where everything is going for finishing work. So that means like all the finishing welding, this frame is not gonna have any kind of filler or any kind of bondo in it. So all the metal work has to be perfect. Um, so that's a, that's a big tackle, but luckily I've got some friends that have stepped out and are willing to, to help me take on some of that load while I focus on the aluminum parts and uh, man uh, literally I mean I got kicker covers uh, primary cover if you want to call it a primary cover uh, we've seen the video on the timing cover which still needs to get finished up uh, all of those pieces once again just like everything else has to be metal finished to perfection uh, and I'm just tired uh, to be honest with you, uh, it's a beautiful day here in Tampa. I mean, it's probably 73, 74 degrees, sun shining, breeze blowing. And I've been cooped up in this garage for a long time. So I think probably for my own mental health, uh, I need to go jump on a bike and just kind of go for a ride and not have uh, any kind of uh, pressure on me that I put on myself when I'm in this garage working. So, uh, but before we do that, um, I was uh, sitting here in the garage and, and my, my buddy, the mailman, he's always delivering things because, you know, when you order parts, you have to get them. And I just said, throw it by the front door. And so that's where we're doing. Man, this lighting is horrible right here. <laughs> Look at that. So we're at the front door of Williams Motor Co. And the mailman dropped off this package. If you've gotten one of those packages before, you know that it's from my good friends over at Lowbrow Customs. And I just want to say a huge shout out to them right now uh, because they have been such a huge support. Uh, on the Weems Motor Co. channel. They've been a huge support as I have been building this Born Free bike. And uh, once again, I, I called, reached out to them. I'm like, oh man, I'm in a tight place. Uh, I see you guys got these parts on your website. Uh, I would really like to see if I can grab those up as soon as possible. Dude, they sent the stuff like next day. They're so amazing. If you guys ever need any parts for your motorcycle, my recommendation is go to Lowbrow Customs first, number one, to see if they have it there because they're gonna take care of you. They're gonna get you hooked up. See all of the people over there. Amanda, you've seen her in the videos. My buddy Tyler, he's the CEO, he's the man. He is Lowbrow Customs. I've known him since he was selling stickers out of the back of his van. But such a great company, got great products. So we're gonna open this box really quick before we go jump on the bike. And then we're going to see what is in this package. They always surprise me with something, whether it's a sticker or something like that. So let's see what they got in the box. All right, so. Uh, I reached out to Tyler and Amanda and Noah and all the cool folks up at Lowbrow 
and said, man, I really, really dig your foot pegs that I had picked up for the build. And uh, I was like, I noticed that on the website that you have the same design for handlebar grips and also for shifter pegs. So I was like, how cool would it be to go ahead and match up those foot pegs to the hand grips, to the shifter and the brake pegs, and they came through in a huge way. So right here in this box, these are the Lowbrow Customs finished line grips in black, and they are so sweet. They have this anodized black outer portion, but the inside portion is actually rubberized, so it gives you a really nice grip. Uh, the challenge being was that I, um, I'm running internal throttle and an internal clutch, so the opposite side of the handle actually has the portion for your grip to operate your throttle cables, and I was like, man, I don't need that portion. Uh, I need <laughs> two of these. So luckily they were super cool and they're like, all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna help you out and we're gonna make sure that you get all the items you need for this Born Free bike. So Tyler, Amanda, thank you guys for helping me out with that. You guys are so awesome. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh yeah, so here's the little foot pegs that I was talking about. They have the same design the man they, they package this stuff good ah, get it open there we go jared all right yeah look at that oh my gosh that's gonna be so awesome same concept same design black anodized with the rubber center that is gonna be so awesome being on the shifter peg and another one for the brake pedal so nice got the other pet uh, the other grip uh oh, man yeah so foot peg mounts let me tell you about this. Uh, I've ordered and spent probably thousands of dollars on parts for this motorcycle that do not work. Uh, and that's tough as a custom builder because you order something and you're like, okay, well I can customize it to make it work. However, sometimes things just doesn't go the way you want it to. So they had these really awesome clevis mounts for foot pegs from our guys over at Cycle uh standard and they carry those at lowbrow so they're going to be able to help me out i do have to further modify these to work on the born free build but it's something i can work from rather than having to manufacture something all the way from scratch which what was that's what i was doing and uh it just wasn't meeting my expectations so they had these i can modify these further to make them work thank you guys for that uh obviously always stickers they give these $50 lowbrow bucks you can use those on the website oh yeah got me a nice t-shirt because I love supporting my friends over at lowbrow customs and if you guys haven't been following what they've been going on so Amanda over there is randomly going through Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that and when she sees anybody with a banner hung up in the background she reaches out shares it so i had to get me the lowbrow customs banner and that's gonna go up here in the shop along with all my other cool friends stuff so that's what's in the box let's go take the bike for a ride let's uh let's go clear our mind all right so here's the deal I know most of you guys watch it and you're like, ah, Reams, you don't know what stress is, you don't know what anxiety is. Um, but the fact is, is, man, I've been there, I've done that. A few years ago, back around 2014, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. Shortly after that, started uh, having seizures and was diagnosed with epilepsy and completely changed the course of my life. Um, at that time I had I think probably eight or nine motorcycles and I was just like man I can't leave my family with this so I need to start um, going through these things man and I uh, started selling motorcycles and basically shutting down the shop and selling tools and whatever you know I didn't want my my wife to be stuck with and um, 
man, it was during that time, man. You, you don't know if you're, you're going to live for a day or a year or 10 years. It's like it puts a lot of things into perspective, you know, and the anxiety builds because you don't know what's going to happen. And, you know, the greatest uh, thing I probably learned from all that whole situation is to, you know, live each day to its fullest, enjoy life, uh, feel the feelings when times are rough. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. Um, if things piss you off, it's okay to be angry. You know, if, if you're in a situation where, you know, things aren't going your way, it's okay. Just feel the feelings, push through. Tomorrow's another day, and hopefully we're all blessed with another day to experience. And, um, you know, this morning, uh, I woke up to the news of uh, Taylor Hawkins from the Foo Fighters, one of my personal favorite bands, and you can ask anybody this, uh, is the Foo Fighters. And, and the first thing I think about in that situation is Dave Grohl, lead singer of the Foo Fighters. I mean, he was the drummer for Nirvana. And, you know, for him to lose his best friend, Kurt Cobain, so many years ago and then turn around and lose his best friend now the drummer for his band i i can't help but you know feel remorse for him and know that he's got to be going through a tough time and not to downplay you know anything to do with uh taylor's family i mean he's leaving a wife and kids and that that's tough for somebody to go through um, you know, I lost my dad. I've lost, you know, family members, and it, it's it's difficult sometimes to just go through the mourning process. And sometimes you have to be that strong person to help those around you push forward. And that's, you know, what I think about when the anxiety begins to rise uh, as uh, as a drill sergeant and after being out of the military you know i have a different perspective when it comes to stress and that perspective i tell other people i'm like well at least you're not getting shot at at least you're not you're no, not a target somebody's trying to kill you and you know that's that's a i guess a stupid way to explain it but you know to me that's the level of stress and anxiety that i've dealt with in my life so when I think when, tough, think when times get tough, at least I'm not getting shot at. At least I'm not in Iraq. Uh, at least, you know, all these bad things, you know, aren't physically happening to me. And, you know, jumping on the bike and just kind of getting out, out of the house, out of the garage, out of the neighborhood, it, it just kind of eases my mind and says there's life outside those four walls. Um, not to say that the life inside those four walls is easy because it is not at all. Um, I put myself in this position where I got to build this bike and it's got to be to a certain level and uh, you know that stress it does take its toll. That being said stress can also be a motivator. Um, you know I've been uh, doing this build and luckily I have some great friends who are builders also for this uh, this competition um, and uh, I reach out to them frequently it's like you know we, we have this joke this thing we it's not a joke it's a real thing that we say hey mental health check-in you know how you do it because I'm stressed are you stressed what are you doing to help you push through and how can we encourage each other to keep going forward in this and uh, uh, you know I think God for those friends who are going through similar situations because we can we can lift each other up we can help each other and, and I think a lot of the experiences that you and I go through in our life that God allows some of those things to happen so when we see somebody else going through it we're able to help them because we can identify with where they're at you know we can have empathy and say hey i know what you're going through i know how tough it is and you may not have the words to say it might just be the moment where you're just there for them you don't have to say a word you can just share a beer together share a conversation talk about something off topic that doesn't have anything to do with what you're stressing about 
and those moments uh, have happened several times in my life and uh, they're very memorable I, I, I really thank God for those friends that he put me uh, around in those moments so today man this has kind of turned into <laughs> uh, uh, a mental health conversation a spiritual health conversation um, but I know that everybody always goes through tough times and uh, if you're going through a tough time man I've said it before in many videos there's always hope don't give up there's no reason to throw in the towel because yes tomorrow is another day it may not be as easy as today is tomorrow might be harder but guess what there's another day after that and live your life to the fullest each day man embrace the struggles embrace the uh, good times and just know that life isn't gonna always be you know the easiest to live uh, if we all had a super easy life that would be awesome but uh, I think in some ways it would be a very boring life. And um, I, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I thank God for the struggles I've been through. I thank God for the, the health problems I went through. Because me going through those things, I've met so many other people through YouTube, so many other people through uh, social media that say, hey, you know, my daughter is going through a brain tumor or my son has seizures or you know i just you know found out this horrible news you know from the doctor you know and i've been able to be there and say you know what if i can do it if i can push through you can do it too because there's nothing special about me nothing special about williams motor Co. i am just some guy with a camera who is able to tell his story and that's really kind of the desire of what this channel is all about i just want to be vulnerable i want to be real and say this is me and i have no clue where i'm at right now <laughs> i have never been here before it's like a dead end but it says stop proceed slowly the end of the river okay all right well i don't want to like pull into somebody's driveway but it's a cool little area let's go uh back up the hill here <laughs> So yeah, guys, uh, get outside. I mean, it might be snowing where you're at. I'm sorry for the beautiful weather here in Florida that we get to have. Uh, God, it's so nice out today. Uh, it might be snowing where you're at, but do something that you really enjoy. Do something that'll get your mind off of the tough times. Uh, do something that will make you smile, make you laugh. Go watch uh, your favorite movie, man. My favorite movie <laughs> that makes me laugh, and I kid you not, is Step Brothers. Man, that movie is so hilarious, dude. I, I love Will Ferrell as a, an actor, and I, I just think those uh, that movie, <laughs> those, those scenes in that movie just are over the top. Um, what is your favorite movie? Jump down in the comments, tell me what your favorite movie is. If you don't have a favorite movie, tell me, you know, what what you do to get your mind off of uh, tough times when you're going through something difficult. You know, what do you do? Maybe you go outside, take a walk. Maybe you listen to some music, your favorite band, Foo Fighters for me. Uh, or maybe you just sit back, smoke a pipe, drink a beer, and say, screw it. I mean, that, hey, whatever works for you, works for you. This is working for me right now, talking to you guys through this camera, riding on a motorcycle. It's working for me, it's bringing up my spirits. It's me sharing my moments with you guys and that encourages me. So today, it's gonna wrap it up. I think this is a great ending to the video. Do something that's gonna make you feel happy. If you're new around here, man, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Turn, <laughs> man, I'm jacking this all up. I'm just happy. If you're new around here, jump down. Hit that subscribe button. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. Turn those notifications on and let everyone know what's going on right here at Weems Motor Co. Peace.